a moment years in the making. I'm here to change the country. Today, the starter's gun has been fired. The weight of the wording not lost on those who developed it, or the Prime Minister. The process of getting to this point isn't top down, it's bottom up. There's a whole lot of things that we do in this place that no one will remember in a year's time or a day's time. This matters. Agreement was reached last night and signed off by Cabinet this morning, with a few tweaks from the announcement at last year's Gama Festival. Australians will now be asked a proposed law to alter the constitution to recognise the First Peoples of Australia by establishing an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander voice. Do you approve this proposed alteration? The constitutional amendment has also changed, now saying the voice may make representations to the parliament and the executive government of the Commonwealth. We have words here that put beyond doubt the power of the Australian parliament the sentiment from those standing alongside the Prime Minister clear. Collectively on this stage, we've been around a very, very long time. We've seen the good and the bad. This is good. This requires all Australians. We need your help. We implore all Australians to unite behind us. We're here to draw a line in the sand and say, this has to change, people's lives have to improve. And we know from the evidence that what improves people's lives is when they get a say. The wording getting a mixed reaction from the public. No, it's not clear uh, to me exactly what is entailed in all of that. I think it's a complete and utter waste of time and energy and money. Yeah, that's my ass. That's so good. Back in Canberra, not everyone is satisfied. I do think it's in the national interest for the Solicitor General's advice uh, to be released and then it, then it can be considered. There was a message for the opposition about politicising the process. Indigenous people will be watching. We want this to be above politics. We are tired of having our lives used as a political football. With the referendum due between October and December, there are still months of campaigning ahead on The Voice. The Prime Minister acknowledging today that while not everyone will choose to vote yes, he hopes the debate can remain factual and respectful and not a source of division in the community. We're not a homogenous group as Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. We're going to have parts of our community that don't agree, but we carry a responsibility to make sure we bring them along on this journey. A long journey to an important vote. Dana Morse, ABC News, Canberra.